Honestly, probably better. I feel more connected to him. I don't have to pull out anymore. <laughs> Certain things don't feel very comfortable. I don't want to squish it. Number 10, having sex while pregnant can hurt your baby. No, his <clears throat> member will not hit the baby. Thick muscular walls, a cushion of amniotic sac fluid, and a mucus plug around the cervix create a safe haven around the fetus. If you decide to get frisky, your baby probably won't know the difference. But if you have a high risk of miscarriages or premature labor, Ooh. sex might be a no-go. This goes for mamas carrying multiples, too. Enjoy, you two! Can sex induce labor? How can coffee shrink your baby? And why are some pregnant women afraid of cats? This is Your Body On, the top 10 pregnancy myths. Number 9. You can't get pregnant on your period. The chances of getting pregnant during your period are low. Yes! But not zero. <gasps> Ovulation usually occurs a week after the last day of your period. At this time, the body releases an egg, which has a 24-hour window for fertilization. If it's met by sperm, which has a three to five day lifespan, boom, you've got a baby on board. If not, your body will shed the egg through menstruation. And not from period. So if you have unprotected sex on the last day of your period and ovulate a few days early, you can get pregnant. Daddy's home. Number eight, you're eating for two. You might find yourself eating more during pregnancy. I'm not pregnant, Emma. But you aren't eating for two adults. You're feeding yourself and a teensy tiny fetus. Your daily calorie intake should stay the same in the first trimester, increase by 300 calories in the second, and cap at an extra 450 calories in the third. Almost 50% of pregnant women in the United States gain too much weight through their pregnancy journey. This can make for a riskier pregnancy and delivery. Number seven, pregnant women shouldn't pet cats. Not necessary. You may have heard that cat feces can carry toxoplasmosis. An infected mother has a one in three chance of passing the disease on to her baby, which can cause dangerous complications like blindness, hearing loss, and developmental delays. But petting an infected cat will not transmit the disease. If you want to be extra cautious, try to delegate the task of litter changing to someone else. Have them change it every day and avoid petting stray cats. Sorry, little guy. Number six, you shouldn't drink coffee if you're pregnant. Coffee is fine in moderation. Just use some common sense. A daily caffeine intake of less than 200 milligrams, or what you'd find in about two cups of coffee, is okay for you and the growing baby. Coffee is life. But it might make the little one extra little. Thanks, Mom. Caffeine tends to constrict the blood vessels, which can limit the delivery of oxygen and nutrients to the fetus. Oh. As a result, babies that receive hefty doses of caffeine during development are on average smaller. Number five, hair dye can harm your baby. Being pregnant doesn't mean you can't have fabulous hair. The scalp absorbs such a tiny amount of product during dyeing that it's unlikely to reach the fetus. For peace of mind, you can wait to color your hair until your second trimester after the critical stages of your baby's organ development are complete. And consider processes in which chemicals have little to no contact with your scalp. Wig, wig. Work it. <laughs> Number four. If you have an STD, so will your baby. It depends on the infection. Chlamydia, gonorrhea, hepatitis B, and genital herpes can infect the baby when it passes through the mother's birth canal. Having a C-section will remove the risk of transmission. STIs of the blood, like syphilis and HIV, can pass through the placenta and into the baby's bloodstream. But fret not. Antibiotics for syphilis infection are 98% effective in preventing the spread from mother to baby. 
while viral medications for HIV are 99% effective. Number 3. Pregnant women shouldn't fly. No one likes a baby on board. In this case, we'll make an exception. You can catch a plane at almost any point throughout your pregnancy. But if you're sitting down for a long haul, try to get up and move around the aisle frequently. It'll reduce the risk of blood clots, which is seven times higher in pregnant women. And it's best to avoid air travel after the 36th week. For obvious reasons. Beautiful baby, born on an airplane. Number two, food and sex can induce labor. I get it, you can't wait to meet your baby. Get out! But spicy foods are more likely to send you to the bathroom than the hospital. Look away! And castor oil induces more vomiting than contractions. I threw up. Sex causes the release of oxytocin and sometimes orgasms, both of which cause uterine contractions. But studies have found no significant link to labor. Hey, no harm in trying. Anything for science. And number one, you lose your baby weight during delivery. Don't let Insta models fool you. About half of your pregnancy weight will drop in the first six weeks. The rest will slowly shed over the next several months. You can speed up weight loss by breastfeeding, which burns between 500 to 700 calories per day. Give me the baby. Opt for whatever is best for you and your baby. After giving birth, the last thing you should have to worry about is your weight. The body changes so much during pregnancy and delivery. How so? We'll find out on another episode of Your Body On.